what it do family and we're back at it again with our ashley's adventures i told you we're gonna be doing the ashley's adventures today and today we're gonna do last gift from vernon from papa vernon secret graceland guys and you know already subscribe to ashley's adventures channel her link will be in my description you won't regret it you get a, a bunch of like awesome content trust me and if you don't you know what you can hit me when you see me that's about it okay i mean you can't really hit grandpa but you know i'll hit you back <laughs> but you guys if you're new around here subscribe to the channel leave a like notification bells on you get all my videos let's get right into it come on detectives like he says hello detectives <sighs> yes sir Hi guys, and welcome Hello. back to another installment of Secret Graceland. Let's dive in. Let's get it. So let's begin our tour and stop just inside the front door. So I've seen this photo of Elvis and Anita Wood and was really curious about it. I couldn't find much info on it, but in one place, Pinterest, it's labeled the beautiful as lady, hold on. Probably <clears throat> guys, let me know who in the comments, who is Anita Woods? For real, let me know. Appreciate you guys if you guys do. Let me know. Anita Woods. Anita Woods. I couldn't find much info on it, but in one place, Pinterest, it's labeled that they're at the fairgrounds. Oh, hold on. Oh. I just, I, I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to pause it that much, but I see her shirt. So it says, practice kindness. Ashley, where you get that shirt from? Let me know, please, in the comments. Let me know where you get that shirt from. Maybe I want one. Who knows? Because it's true. Everybody in this world got to practice kindness. And you know what? That's facts. That's the truth because she's holding a stuffed bear and has her purse on her arm but the curtains look like Graceland so I set out to find out if it is the curtains Ooh, look really shiny detective. this stumped me for a bit but let's actually take a look at what Elvis was doing Christmas of 1957 in this shot with beauty queens Kathy Gabriel and Hanrel Melcher they are standing just inside the front door beauty with queens. the dining room behind them the curtains Come above on, man. the doorway you know what? to be a shiny Everybody wanted their hands on Elvis. Damn, like beauty queens. Like Elvis is the man. You know what? I wish I was hanging around with Elvis back in those days. I mean, if I was alive, first of all. Satin. Ashley, anyway, I appreciate you. Just one month later on Elvis's birthday, here's Elvis in a uh, March of Dimes. Eight-year-old polio survivor, Mary Cousins. Oh, that's awesome. Just beyond them is a curtain lining the doorway. Another shiny satin one. Further proof is this photo of Elvis and his parents in June 1958. What a photo. Sitting inside the living room in front of what will later become the... I know Ashley's going to ask us, what's your favorite part of the video? You know what? So far, it's this one. Look at that photo, how clear and beautiful it looked. I mean, mama don't look that happy, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's get, you know, moms will never look happy. <laughs> right, stained glass peacock. Right behind them, a shiny satin curtain. So if you were curious, like I was, this photo of Elvis and Anita was taken at Graceland just inside the front door. Maybe they had just come back from the fairgrounds and won a prize. Mm. Graceland has been open as a museum since 1982. So of course, some of the smaller oh, items- Oh, damn, I never knew that. Since 1982, Graceland has been open as a museum. A year after I was born. That's pretty cool. I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna get there one day and I'm gonna put it up on YouTube, watch. I guarantee you that. Remember that. I told you that. Have changed around over the years. Here is a photo of just inside the left side of the living room by Memphis photographer William Eggleston taken in the early 80s. Beautiful On the picture. credenza for a time used to be this book set with the American flag and JFK what is it? on the cover. Oh, that's awesome, dude. And JFK is a mass native. You know, Massachusetts in the house. So... We got statues everywhere. Even where I live in Holyoke, Mass, we have statues, a monument about him. So he's a legend. That's all I got to say. One of the best presidents ever, too. More recently, this item can be found on Elvis's desk for the display of his office items in the trophy building. What is that? Here's my photo taken in the trophy building last year with the JFK book right on his desk. On the opposite wall now, on the right side of guys. the living room. <clears throat> guys, first of all, Appreciate Ashley in the comments for these beautiful pictures she takes when she gets there. Guys, amazing pictures. It's wonderful. Hangs a portrait of Vernon Presley looking That's really a nice sharp, picture. holding a pipe. 
I'm like Sherlock Holmes without the hat. For Elvis. Vernon gave his son this painting as a Christmas present in 1976. The last Christmas present Elvis would ever receive from his dad. Oh, damn, In the that's 1970s, sad. the front hallway had the same side table on the right-hand wall as we see today, but there's been some modifications. Here's a photo of this hall from the 70s when Elvis last saw it. Besides the red carpet, fur carpet, and the two chairs not being there anymore, neither are the two elephant sconces on either side of the mirror. It's the same mirror, but those elephants, which I think are small shelves, oh, okay. can be put into archives. Up here, yeah. Look down at these the right here. legs and the elephant heads there. Next time right you're here. on a tour, yep. take a look at these elephants on the legs of the table. Their tusks have definitely been cut off. It might look kind of funny, but no doubt this is for our guest safety. Here's a fun fact about the closets at Grace. Makes sense. All of them have automatic lights. So when you open the door, the light Let's automatically turn on. turns on like a fridge. I thought that was cool. Let's talk That's about pretty cool, actually. downstairs that originally belonged to Vernon and Gladys. In Anita Wood's book, Once Upon a Time, Elvis and Anita, she describes most of the downstairs and even Elvis's parents' room. I thought it was interesting that she mentioned that their bed was between a queen and a king size. Earlier this year, I created a video about some of the art at Graceland, past and present, titled Graceland Art. If you're interested in watching that video, I will link it in the description box below. Our in that video, Land. That's interesting. Some of the paintings Thank you, that Ashley. On the wall in Elvis's parents' bedroom, according to cousin Patsy Presley. Well, sometimes Yo, you know what that reminds me of? Me later while... I apologize, but you know what that reminds me of? I mean, I'm listen. When I first started off doing YouTube, I, I started doing off games, like you know, I mean, not really uploading games, but playing game. Grandpa Gamer was my name, not Grandpa Reacts. So this reminds me of Assassin's Creed. You know, like the first Assassin's Creed. That's all. Carry on. Rome, days, Italy. Browsing photos. This happens all the time. Here is baby Lisa on the bed in her great bedroom. baby. Downstairs bedroom. When Elvis and Priscilla were expecting, Grandma Minnie Mae was moved downstairs to this bedroom. She used oh. their old bed that had been reupholstered red. But what's interesting is that the art hadn't changed. It's not the clearest photo, but look above the headboard. There is that same painting that was in this space for at least a decade before. <clears throat> well, I see that. I see that. I see that painting. Items that were in Elvis's kitchen. This fruit bowl comes from Graceland and has an interesting story about how it was acquired. Fan Sarah Holden was hanging out at the Graceland gates in the summer of 1976 with hopes to see Elvis, but he was actually out on tour. Uncle Vester was the guard on duty. Uh, and Uncle Vester. An orange from a bowl of fruit he had with him in the guard shack. Sarah commented on what a pretty bowl it was. Vester told her it was. I remember him because of the girls that milled themselves through Ashley's video. See, Ashley, I remember. From the house. She's very informative, guys. I'm telling you, link will be in the description. Her, you didn't get to see Elvis, but you can say you have one of his bowls. Okay, let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll look at something that was in come on now. bedroom. You know, my girl got to pay her, her, her bills. You know, you know that, guys. So, we made the appreciate that. And she got him to skip. She allowed him to skip. That's good about that. Let's go. Back into it. Welcome back. So, the next we item back. from Graceland didn't even start at Graceland, but remained there for a while. These salt and pepper shakers were actually brought to the house by Elvis's housekeeper and friend, Mary Jenkins, from her house in the early 60s. Apparently the oh, ones yeah, I remember Mary Jenkins. And she... Now, let me know in the comments, guys. Mary Jenkins was the guy, the lady who used to cook his um, grilled peanut butter and bananas, something like that. Let me know. Let me know. I know I, I'm trying to remember, guys. So, and if you want to break my heart and I'm wrong, go ahead. It's okay. I can take it. Okay. All right. Have a carry on. She preferred hers from home that were easier to grip. You can see the sides have designs kind of like a pineapple. They didn't stay in the kitchen for long. True that, they do. Because Elvis took them upstairs and kept them on his nightstand to add salt and pepper to his food when it was brought to him upstairs. One day, when Charlie Hodge was in Elvis's bedroom and picked one up, living like a Elvis king, you know. Them to him since he was planning all my food upstairs. <laughs> Moving just a few steps out of the kitchen towards the jungle room before we go downstairs. This next one is kind of unusual. We walk past the right side of the jungle room before heading down to the basement. So let's park it right here. In the early days of the museum, and even in the movie, this is Elvis from 1981, there was a shiny wood portrait of Elvis from Aloha from Hawaii that was oh, hanging on beautiful. the wall of the jungle room with a staircase that led up to the sun deck just to the left. Yo, those walls, the wood walls back in the days, I remember me growing up in my 
house. We had walls like that. Our walls were wood like that. Panels. Memories, man. I'm telling you. Memories have come I back and really haunt know. you. <laughs> I really don't know if this was there in Elvis' time or just put up for the movie This Is Elvis. I know we've talked about this before, but what I actually want to point out is what's left behind. When I last toured Graceland in June 2021, I noticed something for the first time. There on the wall, to the left of the window, is the nail that used to hold up that Aloha portrait. So oh, I'm yeah, okay. okay. You're so right. Go down to the basement. All right, you know what? Floor. Ashley, you, you attend to detail. Attention to detail, girl, because I didn't even notice that until you said, pointed it out that the nail was there and the picture was not there. But that means they probably did that for the movie. They probably put that picture there. Damn. She's so good, guys. I'm telling you, she's so good that her link will be in my description. Subscribe, notification bell's on, and you'll get all her fantastic videos, all right? Just let you know that right now. Carry There's on. There's one shiny object here that we've actually seen a few years earlier, just not at Graceland. On the left side of the room, on this metal trunk, are various decor items, including a crystal See, ball owl. sitting on an ornate stand. We've seen this before. Here's a look at Elvis's office in his home on Montevale Drive in Los Angeles. He has a grand desk and chair. That looks beautiful. On his desk and even a picture of him shaking President Nixon's hand. But there on the left, yeah. you see it? There's that crystal ball that could be the same one as in the pool room at Graceland. Just a quick note about the basement. When we exit the pool room, we walk down a small hallway, then go up the green shag carpeted staircase up to the jungle room. But let's pause in the hall. The basement door still has the same exact exterior. It's a green, a grass. The jungle room wasn't always there. That's what it looked like, right? The stairs that led up went outside. So the door in the hall is the same one from the early days of Graceland, not just Elvis's time. All right, let's take okay. our tour outside to the backyard. We're going to look at a shirt. This pink and gray button-up belonged to Elvis in the late 50s and early 60s, and what he was wearing during one of those infamous fireworks wars with his buds in the backyard. Tuh. If you look at the left you tell the the hole. area, there's a huge tear in it. According to Uncle Vester, the firework hit Elvis it. used to play with fireworks on the grounds of Graceland. Often, people would be burned when hit by bottle rockets, even Elvis. This short sleeve <laughs> shirt was worn by my nephew during one of those games in 1960 or 61. Ouch. Wow. I just want to clear something 60, up really 61. Quick. This is the photo of the entrance to the public bathrooms. We weren't even thought of. <laughs> Me or Ashley in 60, 61. They didn't think about us. We were nobodies. <laughs> At Graceland. Some people think that there are no bathrooms there, but there are. They're just not that easy to spot if you're not looking for them. We okay, walk okay. into the trophy building on one end and walk out the other, never walking the outdoor path by them. Got a nice pool back there. The I see that. Okay. Here's the bathrooms that were renovated from the pool house that was there in Elvis's time. You're probably like me and you wish the pool house was still there so we can see it, but it makes sense. Legally, bathrooms had to be added to a public museum. To a pub, yeah. Last stop on our Facts. tour, the meditation garden. Years ago, I recreated this photo of Linda Thompson and oh, her daughter in the meditation garden that's awesome. in the 70s. They're seated next to the Roman statue at the start of the columns. I was looking at this photo and noticed a difference. The step is gone. Let's get a closer look. Oh, okay. The red yeah, right here, the step. Being replaced with pebble okay. In a previous Secret Grace video. But this like I told you guys, attention to detail. Ashley, always attention to detail. You don't understand, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen. This time we're looking at the level of the ground altogether. <clears throat> there are two steps at the top of the platform, then one larger step that Linda is on. Now let's look at the same view today. Two steps in the back, but no oh, larger step. Instead, it was a larger step, now it's two steps. The where the graves are. And that is it. Okay. What was your favorite part? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, Follow Ashley. Facebook and Instagram for rare photos and fun facts that don't make it into the videos. The links for those are in the description box below. As always, thank you so much for watching. You hear that, right? And please subscribe for more adventures. You hear that, guys? Not only not also that, her original video will be in the description so you can watch her original video and subscribe to her channel. Or her link to her channel will be in my description. And then you can do it that way. It don't matter. As long as you do it. Because you won't regret it. Appreciate you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Notification bell's on so you get all my videos. And I'll see you next time. Please. Peace, peace, please, peace. Whatever you want to hear.